fellow Jaguar fans, welcome inside the Richard B. Harrison Gymnasium to start your February off the Leaping Jaguars. Welcome in the reign of Cougars from Central Carolina who set at one and 15, then your Jaguars set at five and 12, averaging 67 points per game, matching up with the Cougars who only average 46 points per game. We have a game on tap for you right here inside the Richard B. Harrison Gymnasium. I'm Pete Norris alongside my colleague, Craig Green. Welcome aboard, Craig, welcome in. Hey, thank you, PD. Very good to be here. And uh, we're about one minute away from tip off. Want to see the Jags out here tonight? What can they do uh, against a familiar opponent here against the Cougars from Central Carolina Community College? Yeah, Craig, like I said, uh, one in 15 and five and 12 matchup here. No need and no reason for you to change your station right here on Jaguar Sports Network. And we have some Jaguars and Cougars as there's only 47 miles separating the two schools in Region 10, Central Carolina from Sanford, North Carolina, and the Jaguars from Selma. Craig, we're about to get started here on side to Richard B. And it's always good as we have a doubleheader tonight as we welcome in the Pitt boys next as the Jaguars face Pitt Community College at 7.30 on our nightcap. But ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get started with your first game of the day. We're gonna send it to the PA announcer to get tonight's games started. And for the starters, for Central Carolina Cougars, we have number zero, Brooklyn Hall. Number 10, Michaela Wright. Number 14, Trinity Hall. Number 22, Zoe McMickens. And number 25, Janie Ragsdale. The starting lineups for the Cougars being introduced. We'll have Brooklyn Hall along with Michaela Wright, followed by Trinity Hall, Zoe McMickens, along with Janie Ragsdale. Correction, that's Trinity Hill. For your Jaguars tonight. Jaguars are starting Zania Thaggard, Maylani Patterson, Kayla Bell, Elena Randolph, and Maya Smith. See how Elena Randolph can bounce back after the game last week is. You know, her or Zaniah Thagger come in last week, you know, like Coach Coach Z had to say that, you know, 
Elena Rand, uh, that Zaniah Thaggard has a problem with eating and drinking prior to the game, Craig, and see if that's going to be a factor tonight for the Lady Jaguars. Yep, fatigue and physical fitness is always something that uh, players have to deal with. You know, you got to be physically fit to run these 94 feet up and down the court for 40 minutes. You know, these women have it in them to do it. But of course, you know, sometimes you get so busy as a student, as an athlete, as a, you know, it's just a person that, you know, little things kind of escape you. But I think Zanaya is ready for tonight. I guess I didn't. The one thing I didn't ask her today was how many threes was she going to hit before the game? But I'd be willing to bet she'd hit more than the number on her jersey, which is three. So if you're the Cougars, you better keep your eye on Zaniah Thagger in the corner for three. But if you're the Jaguars, keep your eyes on Janie Ragsdale, number 25, the center. Only player on the team that averages double digits per game. Ten points a game evenly. So the Ranger Cougars get the ball to start off, and it's a turnover right out the gate. Stagger comes down and throws up a left-handed shot, and it's off the mark. And here comes Randolph with the three, and both teams starting pretty sloppy to begin the game, and the Jaguars with the opportunity from distance. And Lena Randolph is unable to connect. She's averaging 10 points per game. Kayla Bell goes inside to Zaniah Thaggard. Pull it back out. Just underway here in the Richard B. Harrison Gymnasium. And Smith taking the baseline and going up off that left side. And she fires away. And it's Jaguars on the scoreboard first. Good job by Smith to run the baseline and was able to convert. And coming right back, Ragsdale, no. And then Ragsdale gets her own rebound. Offensive boards, Craig, that's where the Jaguars have struggled this year, giving up plenty of second chance opportunities. But I can tell you, one thing the Jaguars did tonight before the first minute went away, they get a bucket on the board. Something they've struggled in the past three games in the month of January. But you know, today turned the page for February and the Jaguars and the Cougars square off February 1st. Leap year, and the Jaguars leap into a victory. They just leapt into a turnover there as Maya Smith enters the passing lane, gets a steal. Wide open Randolph for three. Air ball. It's Randolph's second shot from that side, and both of them, it's off the mark. They face a full court press. Cougars with their third turnover, and Randolph. Look at that ball fake, really nicely done. Randolph 0 for 3 from the field. They hit it ahead to Ragsdale. Ragsdale puts a body in, going up off the right side, and it's 4 to 2. Cougars. Yeah, good pass up the court by Hill to find Ragsdale underneath. Ragsdale again, she might be a problem if you don't put a couple of bodies on her. Nice, oh, nice pass. pass. Right to Kayla Bell and the Jaguars. And Kayla Tied Bell. up. Cut into the basket, moving without the basketball. That's what you do. Look at that turnover right there coming up. Can Elena save it? No. Have a Cougar check it in, check it in. It's Prescott. Janiah Pollard coming into the game for the for the Cougars. Whip around baseline jump shot as rims out. Seven oh eight left. We're tied at four. Small crowd on hand as the 5 and 12 Jaguars match up with a 1 and 15. Cougars, Patterson in the paint, rattles around the rim, and Maya Smith ties it up down low, and it's Jaguars ball. You look, gotta love the fight. I mean, I know the score is even 4 to 4, Petey, but it still feels like the Jags are in control and have the advantage. 
they're really kind of forcing the action. I mean, they've only been kind of caught out there a couple of times. And that's how the Cougars got their four points. Bagger from the right wing. Leaves it short on the rim and coming down with the rebound was McKin McKinton. The Jaguars force another turnover. And Patterson. Five turnovers, correction, four turnovers already for the Cougars and it's directly led to four points for the Jags. Jaguars looking to start February off in the winning column. Jaguars are one and seven as Brooklyn Hall. Yeah, she was in the right place at the right time to get the offensive board, put it back home. Brooklyn Hall, one of the top three scorers on the team for the Jags, or excuse me, for the Cougars. Brooklyn Hall with a foul. It's her first team's first. First quarter, six minutes to go. And although Bell threw it up, the uh, foul was not in the act of shooting. Patterson in the paint, puts up a shot, leaves it short, and Brooklyn Hall with a rebound has nearly turned it over. She's trying to go to Prescott. Prescott hands it off to Ragsdale. Three by Brooklyn, and too far right of Queens. And Pollard, correction, Prescott with the mid-range. Long carom on the on the three-point shot lands right into the hands of the Cougars, and they find themselves with an early lead here. Six to eight, five twenty-five left. Bagger step back, three on the way, bounces, and it's out of bounds. First turnover for JCC. Zanaya is a little cold right now. Zero for four to start the game. inside to Ragsdale. Ragsdale leads it right to the rim and going up off that left side and it's a four point lead. Well the problem on that one was the positioning of Elena Randolph. Elena needs to get behind Ragsdale to not allow her. She was trying to deny her the ball but they threw it over the top and then she was out of position to guard her. Good decision by Zanaya to pass Smith. it off. Smith down low trying to get big on Ragsdale and pulls it back out. Back inside to Patterson. Four on the shot clock, and it's a turnover Jaguars. Ragsdale right there to swat it down. Looks like the offensive line, defensive line for the Kansas City Chiefs. Give it up to the Cougars there, nice defense. Ragsdale, we got a six point lead, 12 to six on the Style Street Barber scoreboard. We wanna take our first time out. We're in a media timeout. Jaguars and Cougars square off from Selma. He was the heart of your family, and he taught you our history. He helped you fix your first flat. He was the best backyard DJ around, and every time he'd tell a story, he'd own the room. But now more than ever, he may feel alone. Today, older adults and their loved ones are struggling to connect in a time when connection has never been more important. But there is something we can do. Embrace our older loved ones through StoryCorps Connect. With StoryCorps Connect, you can honor seniors remotely with an interview about their life. Every interview will be archived at the Library of Congress, becoming part of American history, so that years from now, future generations can listen in. All right, Grandpa, what's one piece of advice you have for me? Just three words, sweetheart. Live with courage. The man that had the best stories still has plenty of stories to tell. So connect virtually and share the conversation of a lifetime at storycorpconnect.org slash AARP. Connect, honor, share. StoryCorps Connect. A message from AARP, StoryCorps, and the Ad Council. Jaguars force of five turnovers to Central Carolina. They trail 12 to 6. Come out of timeout. See what Coach Z has drawn up with offensive play. You can see it's a play that came out of that timeout because of the ball movement involved with it. Nice shot by Smith, but unfortunately she couldn't make it. it rattles around the rim and falls out. Nice ball movement down low. And McMickens continues to climb. 
as the Cougars open up to an eight point lead. Yeah, see, the thing is, the uh, Cougars are getting to the bucket and getting easier shots than the Jaguars are. They've been selling for some three pointers. There's a nice, there's a chance right there for Elena, but nope, can't get it. Rebound comes down to Ragsdale. Elena Randolph, 0 for 4 from the field. And you can look and see Thompson will check in for Randolph, I'm assuming, with a 14 to 6 Cougar lead. Ball driving, and it's stripped by Patterson and falling on it. Thompson coming in. Will it be for Bell or for Thompson? You called it. Coming in for Thompson. Thompson checks in for Elena Randolph. Does she have a seed? 0 for 5 from the field. Great ball movement by the Cougars to Brooklyn Hall. And she puts on the first three for the Cougars. And they set up, forcing the turnover. Ball will stay right with the Cougars. Another big problem is the rebounding right now, just 10 to three right now for the Cougars. Jaguars have only grabbed three rebounds in the first seven minutes. Back out of Prescott, whipping around to the corner. And Wright's baseline was cut off and she threw up a shot as he was fouled by Kayla Bell. We're gonna give it to Thompson, I believe. Yeah, Thompson fouled her on the floor. Shot won't, won't count. When you got a big body like Janie Ragsdale, it's easy to inbound the ball for the Cougars. Thompson saves it from going out of bounds, and here comes Jaguars. 2.45 left in the first quarter, trailing 14 to six. And good hustle by Thompson to chase it down. Patterson rocks back for the three and rocks a hole for the bonus. Jaguars needed that shot in the worst way. Again, they've been pretty cold here in the first quarter. Sometimes when you see the ball go in the hoop, it inspires you to keep doing it again and again and again. Ragsdale puts up a three and too hard. And that was Hall with the steal. Trinity Hill will check in the next dead ball for the Cougars. And they wrap one around the rim. And Smith. Smith with the rebound. It's a fifth rebound for the Jaguars today. Is Thaggard measured up the three and could not get it to fall. As Maya Smith up and under. Jaguars on a 5 0 run. Right back into the game. I mean, Thaggard 0 for 5. Randolph 0 for 4, Jags still only down by a bucket. Ragsdale tries to body the man down low and Brooklyn Hall with the rebound and back out to the Jaguars. 123 left, Jaguars trail by 3, 14, 11. Kayla Bell with a deep two, follows a shot, falls right in the hands of Michaela Wright. Prescott goes inside, nice pass to McKimmons. Yeah, McMickens took a little contact, but she initiated the contact, which is why the referee wasn't going to call it. 16-11. Yeah, it's been a slow start for the Jaguars right now, but they are slowly climbing out of it. They've made a couple of their last few attempts on the floor. There's a nice shot by Maya Smith. Saw it coming off her hand, Petey. I thought that one was going in the minute she released it. 16 to 13. Inside a final minute of the quarters. Ragsdale's trying to power away down low in the forward position. 16 to 13. Jaguars on a 9-0 run. Long two by Desire Thompson. Back to a one-point game. Big shot for Thompson. Jaguars on a 9-0 run to end the first quarter. The end of one. Central Carolina Cougars 16. Your JCC Jaguars 15 will be back after a word from our sponsors. 
and he taught you our history. He helped you fix your first flat. He was the best backyard DJ around. And every time he'd tell a story, he'd own the room. But now more than ever, he may feel alone. Today, older adults and their loved ones are struggling to connect in a time when connection has never been more important. But there is something we can do. Embrace our older loved ones through StoryCorps Connect. With StoryCorps Connect, you can honor seniors remotely with an interview about their life. Every interview will be archived at the Library of Congress, becoming part of American history, so that years from now, future generations can listen in. All right, Grandpa, what's one piece of advice you have for me? Just three words, sweetheart. Live with courage. The man that had the best stories still has plenty of stories to tell. So connect virtually and share the conversation of a lifetime at storycoreconnect.org slash AARP. Connect, honor, share. StoryCorps Connect. A message from AARP, StoryCorps, and the Ad Council. Welcome back to the Richard B. Harrison Gymnasium and the Jaguars. The Cougars, one point separates the Cougars and the Jaguars. Jaguars shooting 35%. Cougars shooting 40. Both teams to put up 20 shots. Jaguar is seven for 20 with one three. They're one for seven from three. The Cougars only put up one three and that was Brooklyn Hall in the first quarter. Started the second quarter, Jaguars with the ball. Nice pass as Kayla Bell drives and Jaguars make an 11-0 run. Continued from the six minute mark in the first. Fought their way all the way back to take the lead. Great pass by Maya Smith to find Kayla Bell trailing to the basket and then great patience by Bell to let the defender get out of herself out of position trying to defend. Turn it into an easy layup. Rifles one across court to Prescott and Prescott drives and that was Janiah. That's the first bucket for Central Carolina since the five minute mark in the first quarter. They followed it up with turning the ball over. Fresh in our roster was wrong as Pollard that made the last bucket. Janiah Pollard. Malaysia Prescott swings around left side to right, back to Pollard inside. Nice body down low for Ragsdale. Ragsdale stays right with it as Maya Smith was elbowed. Took a, took a hard shot, either in the midsection or the lower region, hard to tell. Or was it a knee? Looks like it might be a knee. That's not a good sign. 847 left, 18 to 17, Central Carolina lead. And Coach McDuffie going to check on Maya. Laughing it off. I think she's going to be okay. I think she just got the wind maybe knocked out of her. Either that or may have hit, even hit her below the belt. Ragsdale. Perfect from the line. Makes it a one possession game. Yeah, again, the Jaguars struggle with bigger players like Ragsdale, who's six feet tall. They have a hard time boxing out players of her stature and getting around her to get to the rim. So they usually settle for long jump shots, and that sometimes leads to their downfall because they're not trying to draw fouls on the big down low. Thompson tried to go out to Randolph in the turnover, and Randolph with the foul on Pollard. Smith will check in. Nineteen to seventeen. Second quarter. If you guys are just joining us, Jaguars trailed by as many as six in the first quarter. They tracked it all the way back down to make it fifteen to fourteen after one. And Jaguars trail by two. Just had a seventeen sixteen lead, but. Gave that up courtesy of a bucket on one end and then a turnover, then a foul, and then a free throw made by, by Ragsdale. 0 for 2 at the line was Janiah Pollard. 
Thompson goes right side with 8.15 left. Elena Randolph. You see Ragsdale camping out in the paint. They're trying to pass the ball around her to avoid her. If you're on defense, you can camp all you want. Offense, you got to keep your feet moving. It's the shot at the buzzer for Thagard. Should have been a shot clock violation, but the refs let it play out. 19-17, Central Carolina with the lead. Inside it for Trinity Hill, and it's stabbed out of bounds. Good active hands by Maylani Patterson to see and recognize where the ball was going and knock it out of bounds. Because again, again, Petey, they've been really exposing that side of the defense of the Jaguars, and that's where they've been getting a lot of their points. Is right there in that part of the baseline. Good steal by Kayla Bell. Malaysia Prescott with the drive and the steal. Kayla Bell with a long two off the left wing, and you can count it. Sweet. And we're all tied at 19. Sweet stroke by Kayla Bell. She's three of four to start this game. Inside to Prescott, and Prescott going to Ragsdale. Ragsdale, mid range jumper contested. On the defensive side, nice defense by Smith. A couple of Jaguars harassing and affecting her shot. Tiger trying to measure up the three, but goes inside to Patterson. Patterson kicks it. The baseline jumper opposite side for Smith. You know something, Petey? I think there's a way to kind of draw Ragsdale out of the paint. If you can take Maya Smith out there and hit a couple of those baseline jump shots, you can really set up something to where a player can cut down low and get an easier bucket than that as Ragsdale enters on the other end. As a lob on Ragsdale, nobody helped on the help side. And we're tied at 21. Nice pass back door to Maylani. It appeared to be blocked by Pollard. Let me tell you what, Ragsdale literally was not paying attention. And that's how Patterson got to the paint so easily. Trinity Hill with the entry pass and going up off the left side, right side. Back and forth they go. Much even game than it has been. Remember the Cougars started pretty quickly. Jaguars settled down and got found themselves back in the game. Kayla Bell with her fourth point. It's up to eight right now, four of five from the field. She's got the hot hand right now going for the Jags. Eight points, Kayla Bell. And a turnover. Kayla Bell with her fourth consecutive point and a turnover. Yeah, both teams now with seven turnovers. Now make it eight as Thagard got herself in there to affect Prescott and force her to travel with the basketball. See how the Jaguars adapt with Ragsdale on the bench. Yeah, small ball for the Cougars. This is their chance really to get Maya Smith down low to really uh, take over that low block. Don't settle for long jump shots. Thaggard 0 for 6 from the field. Forces up a shot and it was flat for Trinity Hill, but coming off the rebound and Zania Thaggard. Got to find Maya Smith down low. I mean, she's got the size advantage over McMickens. She needs to post up McMickens and go straight to the bucket. Instead, get a block shot by Hill. But 16 on the shot clock, PD. I would love to see. Looks like a, a it's not a timeout. I'm trying to figure out who's, or are they taking a timeout? What are they doing? Okay. Media timeout, 445 left. <laughs> We're gonna say right here, Craig is, Ooh. you know, not in at 23. You know, we see splashes in each team, but overall the Jaguars not playing a bad game here against Central Carolina. They're down, you know, by as many as six, correction, eight, and fought all the way back to regain the lead 15 to 14. And then, you know, it's been back and forth since then with 445 left. 
this is a chance for a Jaguars with Ragsdale out to capitalize in the post position. Got to feed Maya Smith or Desiah Thompson down low. I don't want to see long three-point shots here unless somebody's wide open. You know, it's it's one thing if, you know, if you got Thagard out there wide open, Caleb Bell out there wide open, I understand it. But when you have the size advantage, McMickens is a smaller player in the low post. You have to take advantage of her. Maya Smith is longer and she's taller and she's more athletic. And I think she should be able to post her up, turn around, and just put a little baby hook over the top, put it in the rim. 23 apiece, 445 left. From here in Selma, Petey Doris, Craig Green bringing you coverage on Jaguar Sports Network. The Cougars playing with four guards, Petey. Four guards and McNickens, who is more of a small forward slash power forward. You got Smith and Thompson in the game at the same time. You got to take over the paint here. I want to see some Mason Oakley action here. Caleb Bell is guarded by Trinity Hill. And Patterson rocks back for the three, and it's too hard. Off the other side of the rim, it falls right in the hand of the Cougar. Right, looking to drive and kick it. it nearly a steal by Patterson. Right, he looking saw it inside to McMickens. McMickens trying to post up on Smith. McMickens forces up a shot, and and right there to clean it up was Brooklyn Hall. Yeah, need to see better interior defense by the Jags because that right there is not going to get it done tonight. Good save by Thompson. Thompson back to Patterson. Patterson curls around the screen and goes up. And Patterson right. 0 for 3 here in the third quarter. 334 left. That's where you want McMickens is out there on the perimeter, not inside the paint. And Trinity one. Hill finds a way down low, and it's back to a four-point Cougar lead. Two fouls on Thompson. She'll probably have to take a seat. And actually, it's going to be Kayla Bell who will sit down. Correction. Or will be Thompson. Thaggard back out there with her hand taped up. That's pretty concerning, Petey. She is a left-handed shooter, so... Hopefully won't affect her shot too much, but see her hand taped up like that. Must have did something to it that we didn't see. Trinity Hills, free throws. Off the heel of the iron. Zanaya Thagger comes in and splashes one and it does not fall. And Smith curls one around the rim and goes up and falls through. Smith probably wondering why she didn't get a foul call and so am I. She's Four for five on the game, Petey. She's made four straight buckets. Between her and Kayla Bell, they're keeping the Jaguars in the game as McMickens shots off the mark and Brooklyn Hall back up to Mickens. Three opportunities for the Cougars. And the Jaguars come out with it with 2.56 left. That's what's keeping the Cougars in this game. Offensive rebounding and points in the paint. If they're not doing that, this game is a blowout right now. Patterson. Pull back Myers out of Thagger. Thagger for three. Brrrah. Jaguars take a one point lead. Mr. First eight, ninth times the charm for Zaniah Thagger. A Z three and a three for JCC. 28 27, Jaguars. First lead in the last. Four and a half minutes. Tell you what, I don't, you know, this is a one point game for the Jags are up. I don't know how happy Coach Z is going to be, to be quite honest with you. There's so many things that have been left out there by the Jags, so many. Patterson taking on the team of Cougars. And it's out of bounds. Cougars with the ball. Checking back in is Janie Ragsdale. Trinity Hill will check out of Thompson. Comes in for Bell. And good defense. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, good defense by Maylani Patterson to knock the ball away. Make the, make the Cougars dribble it all the way the length of the floor to, and allow them to set their defense up. 
Ragsdale comes back in and bodies Smith down and the Cougars got a one point lead. Back and forth basketball here, Craig. I still want to see Thompson and Smith post up Ragsdale and force her to defend. And see when Smith catching the ball out there in the high and the you know out there in the perimeter, it's gonna draw a Ragsdale away from the bucket. And Thompson gets her first points tonight. One eleven left, one point game, thirty to twenty nine, and down low is Zoe McMickens. Yeah, both teams eating in the paint, but I think the Jaguars can do much more in the paint if they decide to attack number twenty five right there. Ragsdale chilling with no fouls in this game. You've got to put some pressure on her defensively. Nice passes. Randolph is charged with a offensive foul. Good position by McMickens to draw the offensive foul. You can hear Coach Marcel Webster trying to coach this final 46 seconds, making sure that his team is set offensively to try to execute and get some more points before the half. Jags can dribble this thing out. There's an air ball. It's going to be Jags ball. Trinity Hill with the air ball. It's nine turnovers for Central Carolina. And the Jags will not have the final shot here in terms of shot and game clock. 31-30, Cougars lead. Kayla Bell steps in, 17 footer and Kayla Bell. Eight five. points here in the second quarter. And five of six overall, 10 points. Kayla Bell, she's hot to start this game. Seven on the clock as Pollard puts up a three. It's Smith battling down low and coming out with the Trinity Hill. Will they get a shot off? And that's the end of the first half. Jaguars with a one-point lead, 32 to 31. The heart of your family, and he taught you our history. He helped you fix your first flat. He was the best backyard DJ around, and every time he'd tell a story, he'd own the room. But now more than ever, he may feel alone. Today, older adults and their loved ones are struggling to connect in a time when connection has never been more important. But there is something we can do. Embrace our older loved ones through StoryCorps Connect. With StoryCorps Connect, you can honor seniors remotely with an interview about their life. Every interview will be archived at the Library of Congress, becoming part of American history, so that years from now, future generations can listen in. All right, Grandpa, 
What's one piece of advice you have for me? Just three words, sweetheart. Live with courage. The man that had the best stories still has plenty of stories to tell. So connect virtually and share the conversation of a lifetime at storycorpsconnect.org slash AARP. Connect, honor, share. StoryCorps Connect. A message from AARP, StoryCorps, and the Ad Council.